Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Today we're going to be walking you through the installation steps for a quadra top complete or a quadra top complete premium for your 07 and up four door JK Wrangler. Both kits have essentially the same installation instructions, with the only difference being the type of soft top material that's included in the two kits. Now, the quadra top complete kits are a perfect fit for your Wrangler if it's never had a soft top on it before or if you're looking to replace a damaged or worn out soft top that maybe has some broken or missing hardware. The complete kits will include the fabric as well as all the internal support bows and hardware that you need to get it installed in your Jeep. So let's go ahead and get started. Start by unpacking the soft top material. For a smooth fit and ease of installation, the top should only be installed when the temperature is 72 degrees Fahrenheit or above. Below this temperature, the fabric may contract up to an inch or more, making it very difficult to install. Now, for best results, we strongly recommend letting the top and windows sit in direct sunlight or a warm place for one to two hours before installing the fabric. You can begin assembling the support bows during this time. Wrinkles in the fabric and windows are normal from being stored in the shipping box. After a few days, the fabric will relax and the wrinkles will disappear. Next, unpack the factory style bow kit. It's important to lay everything out so you can familiarize yourself with the different parts before assembly. Don't forget to unpack the hardware bag as well. It's a good idea to separate the different nuts and bolts so you'll be sure you're using the correct sizes when needed. Mount the right cable guide bracket to the right rear door rail with two M5 by 16 screws and M5 lock nuts. Be sure to install the screws from the bottom of the door rail with the nuts on top of the cable guide bracket. Then repeat with the left cable guide bracket and rear door rail. Install the right and left rear door rail onto the Jeep. Insert the pin on the bottom of the door rail into the hole in the belt rail behind the door. Use an M8 by 75 millimeter knob to secure the door rail. This is the longer of the included knobs. Place the front door rail above the front door opening. Secure it using an M8 by 75 millimeter knob at the front of the door rail and an M8 by 30 millimeter knob in the center. Install the front top support arch by inserting one end in the slot in the front door rail. Push up on the center of the bow while pulling down on the opposite end to flex the bow so you can insert it into the other door rail. Repeat the same steps with the rear top arch. Install the left and right tailgate bar mounts on the Jeep. Hook the bottom of the mounts on the inside of the body tub, then roll the mount toward the outside of the Jeep until it clips into place on the belt rail. Now we can begin to assemble the support bows. Position the side bows with the brackets facing up and place the lower header on top of the bows. It can be helpful to let the bows hang off one side of a table. Secure the lower header with two number eight by half inch pan head washer screws on each side. Using two pivot knuckle bolts, secure the number three bow assembly to the side bow header assembly. Using two pivot knuckle bolts, secure the number three bow assembly to the side bow header assembly. Next, we'll attach the number two bow assembly. Install an M5 by 16 machine screw at the front of the side bow. Insert the screw through the bracket using two bushings and secure with an M5 nylock nut. Repeat on the other side. At the rear of the number two bow, install an M5 by 30 machine screw using two bushings and an M5 nylock nut on each side of the bow assembly. Align the two holes in the square end of the webbed stay strap with the two holes in the corners of the number three bow. Secure using two number eight by half inch pan head washer screws. Pull the pointed end of the stay strap back to the number four bow. Make sure that it is not twisted and that the point is to the inside of the frame. Secure using three number eight by half inch pan head washer screws. Then repeat on the opposite side. Next, we'll begin installing the fabric to the frame. Start by laying the soft top fabric with the backing side up. Align the notch in the fabric with the notch in the header and secure it in place with a few strips of tape. The tape will not be seen once installation is complete. This is simply to keep the material in position during installation. Place the edge protector on the front edge of the upper header. Secure it in place with the pre-applied double-sided tape. Lay the upper header on top of the lower header, sandwiching the fabric in between. Starting with the center hole, install 23 number eight by half inch high-low screws to secure the upper header in place. Secure the upper header to each side bow in the outermost holes on each side using four number eight by half inch pan head washer screw. For the next step, flip the soft top material back over the entire support bow frame, then fold the header back. Slip the fabric pocket sewn into the top over the header and secure with two number eight by half inch high-low screws 
through the fabric and metal flag on both sides. Install fabric foam strips over the screws just installed and along the leading edge of the soft top. Install the bow mount brackets onto the rear sport bar using bow mount screws. If your Jeep has never had a soft top installed before, it may be necessary to cut a short slice in the sport bar padding to allow the padding to be reinstalled over the brackets. Place the soft top fabric and support bow assembly on the back of the Jeep with the header facing up. Clip the number four bow pivot knuckle into the forward lower hole in the bow mount bracket. Clip the number three bow pivot knuckle into the top slot in the bow mount bracket. Raise the top and slide the pivot assembly on the support bow along the track above the door until it latches into place. Pull the fabric back and drape it over the support bows. Then tuck the rear corners into the belt rail in the body. Fold the header back to reduce tension on the top and then secure the cable spring to the bracket on the support bow and crimp the spring with pliers. Once the top is in place, locate the flap sewn inside the top near the number three bow. Secure with four number eight by half inch pan head washer screws. Locate the four flaps sewn inside the top above the rear window. Install a number eight by half inch pan head washer screw to secure each flap to the rear support bow. Locate the flap sewn inside the top in the center. Wrap the flap around the number two bow and install five number eight by half inch pan head washer screws to secure it. Install each side window by zipping it into place. Roll the plastic strip along the leading edge of the quarter windows into the channel in the door surround and slip the plastic along the bottom into the belt rail on the Jeep. Finish by securing the hook and loop fasteners on the top and rear edge. Slide the tailgate bar onto the tubing along the bottom edge of the rear window. Place the tailgate bar into the tailgate bar mount on each side of the tailgate opening. And finish by zipping the rear window into place. It can be helpful to raise the second zipper pull to the top of the window to relieve some tension when pulling the first zipper pull around. Then finish by pulling them both down to close the rear window. So that wraps up the installation of our quadra top complete kit on an 07 and up four door JK Wrangler. As you can see, the process really wasn't that difficult. Just make sure to take your time and follow the steps outlined in the instruction manual. Of course, if you have any questions for one of our Jeep experts, simply shoot us an email to info at quadratech.com. Give us a call at 800-745-2348 or live chat at quadratech.com. I'm Rob, I'll see you out on the trail.